This battle is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, out of the hog wild red corner, he holds a record of three wins and five defeats. Weighed in at 154 pounds and represents third degree MMA in Middlesbrough, Kentucky. Give it up for Damian Hammer Hamlin. And his opponent out of the OEB blue corner, he holds a record of two wins and no defeats. Weighed in at 156 pounds and represents D Evil in Johnson City, Tennessee. Put your hands together for Matt McKenna. Your referee for this fight is Josh Ward. Josh Ward, our referee in this bout, presented by Chips Transmissions. It's a lightweight bout at 155. It's Damian Hamlin in the black and green trunks, taking on Matt McKenna in the black and gray chunks. Josh Ward looks at both corners, and we are underway. Touch of, uh, of the hands. Three, three-minute rounds. We're underway. Right, here we go. McKenna aggressive right out of the gate here, closing the distance, and takes it back to the center. Looks like he wants to strike. Oh, big right hand there by Hamlin. Chin up by McKenna. Uh, McKinlin undaunted, however. Of course, beer. McKenna has been working a lot with Dustin, with Adam, all those guys at D-Evil. Uh, tremendous striking prowess. Uh, but, you know, the, the old habits die hard. Uh, you know, he is known for getting it to the ground and doing big business down there. You see the D-Evil tattoo on his left uh, calf right there. There's also a Team Ox uh, around there somewhere if, nice. if, you, if you keep your eyes out. It's in there. Uh, we've got some great history together. Uh, I love this guy. You're in the one minute uh, gone by here in round number one, three three minute rounds. Hamlin doing what he needs to do here though. He's got his hand, arm posted up. He's making it difficult for McKenna to get him down. This is something, you know, in 2008, you didn't see a whole lot of. Usually, typically you get the takedown, you're down. Now Matt's having to work a little bit harder, but this is a great position for him here. Beautiful, pinning the arm behind his yeah. head and going to work. I like the half guard position as well. Makes it much more difficult for Hamlin to get his hips out and stand back up. Yeah, you've talked about that quite a bit before, very advantageous. It's so different. You know, I was I was cornering Sony Hale a few years back at Bellator, and I noted, and, and uh, we actually, he was in crossbody, the guy kept getting up, and he finally got the guy down, sunk the half guard, and, and the, the commentator there kind of mentioned that, that it showed an inexperience on his part. And I'm like, no, sometimes you gotta get that half guard in MMA. You gotta hold this guy down. You see some shots landed by McKenna. Yeah, McKenna's work rate is very good right here. Hamlin's got the underhook here. Matt doing great. He switches to the to switch to the wizard, which ends up in the front face lock. Hamlin's gonna have to move quick. He's gonna have to stay busy because exactly, Matt's yep. gonna look to advance. And he did. How's the back? Yep, looking to sink this hook. If he sinks this hook, it'd be a tough spot for Hamlin. Now crossbody position, and this time we're out in the center of the cage. And he's Matt really, you know, taking his time, doing exactly what he should be doing here, and that's that's grinding away, and uh, you know, and, and, and making it work here. Uh, of course, we're getting coming to the close. He may want to bump up the pace a little bit, try to look for that finish. No reason to go into the second if you don't have to. But Hamlin, die hard here. Hamlin trying to hang on. You see, ten here, ten seconds. Look at the arm triangle. Is he going to have time, though? And he will not. One <laughs> shot landed there by McKenna. Nice show. Of Very refined showing by Matt McKenna there in the first round. Very good control. And McKenna clearly in that first round. Undoubtedly, yeah. Beautiful takedown. You know, and, and look good on his feet, too. Look comfortable. But again, you know, it, it's kind of ingrained in you. You know, he started as a grappler. Uh, you know, he goes out there. He, he uses his striking prowess for when the time is right. He sprung, and he did work. Very good work there. That's, the case, that's Casey Oxendon. I am Vince Ferrara. It's Apex Fights 8 here at Sullivan North High School in Kingsport, Tennessee. Great to have you with us. Take us to this replay, Casey. Well, it was the same thing. You know, Matt was looking comfortable on the feet, but he took a little shot there, decided to take it to the ground, and from there it was elementary. Uh, props uh, to Damian Hamlin, though, for making it difficult on him. Uh, you know, uh, 
Damian moves on to the second round to fight into the second round, and so Matt's gonna have to do it all over again here. See a little mouse forming under the left eye of, of Matt McKenna. Uh, I, I saw him take the shot there from Hamlin early in the round. Hamlin coming on a little bit. Another nice stiff right hand by the southpaw, or sometimes southpaw. He's just switched back into to orthodox. He's landing some big shots there on Matt. Matt's going to look to have to close the distance here. Big smile on his face. McKenna standing right there, but he's taking some shots. Using that horsepower to close the distance. Very, very, again, very difficult to stop once he gets you against that cage, man. I've been there uh, when he starts putting that pressure in. It's, it's a lot of momentum. Hamlin, though, handling it well. Again, he's not quite down onto his back yet. Uh, posting that right arm, looking to resist. You know, as, as the, the rounds go on, it, it, it's harder and harder to get the takedowns and hold the guys down. But, you know, Matt very well trained there with D. Evil. Those guys condition like crazy. They never stop. If you're, if you're Hamlin here, what, what can you do? Because he's got to get this fight back to, well, to the stand-up, right? Yeah, absolutely. And he was actually having some success there in the stand-up, man. Landing mm -hmm. some big shots. Again, that mouse over the left eye or under the left eye of Matt McKenna. That could cause some problems if Hamlin's able to get his hands on it. So, you know, if I'm Hamlin, I'm looking to post up and, and use that cage to try to stand back up. At this point, though, Matt has actually put his body between Hamlin and the cage. It's a good uh, strategic move there. Just past the midway point, round number two, three three-minute rounds. Yeah, nice shoulder butt there. That's uh, one of my absolute favorite uh, shots. A lot of people, they discount it, but it hurts like crazy. It makes you forget, and it looks like if Hamlin raises up, it could be Matt looking to go to the back here, or at least uh, it appeared as such at, at, for a second there. It's a lot of weight with that shoulder, if you strike with that shoulder. And a lot is to be said about old man strength. You know, Matt's 39, uh, I'm 38, you know. When, as you get older, it's like the carpenter hands, you know. Uh, <laughs> the more you do it, you take a 70-year-old man, he shakes your hand, man. It feels like your skin's going to crawl out of the back of your neck because he squeezes so hard. You know, as you get older, you know, you lose certain aspects, but that strength, man, th those grips and whatnot, those only get stronger uh, in, in, a, in a lot of situations. And a couple more of those shoulder strikes from the top by McKenna. 30 seconds left in round number two. Ah, Hamlin recovering his guard for the first time. Looking for a triangle choke. It's Damian Hamlin, beautiful posture by Matt McKenna, however, turning the correct way to block it. Now Hamlin looking for the arm bar. The angle was just not quite there. Wow. First moment of danger from McKenna, from Hamlin. <laughs> And Hamlin is going to survive the second round. So does that give Hamlin a little bit of a feeling that he could get something done during I, this third Well, round? I think what, what would give him that feeling would be uh, the first part of the second round. He landed a few shots on Matt, uh, you know, and, and forced Matt to push for the takedown. You saw the first round, it was very simple for Matt to get the takedown. Second, time, second round, a little bit more difficult as the fatigue sets in. To, to do that work in that aspect, it gets harder and harder. So moving into the third, Matt's really going to have to dig deep if he wants it on the ground. This is Hamlin's opportunity. He's going to have to come out and really open up, but he's going to have to move, okay? Because as soon as his back gets near that cage, he's going to get taken down. Take us to this replay here. Well, it's right there, you know. Matt using his strikes, but Hamlin, you know, a, a little more aggressive. The youth, uh, you know, the quick tread, twitch. Um, Matt, Matt McKenna implementing the horsepower to get that round though. And Hamlin made himself vulnerable when, with that left hook that he swung and missed and McKenna ducked under it and ended up taking that second round yes. to the mat. Touch of hands and we are underway in this third and final round, three three minute rounds. And like I said, this is the time where McKenna really, you know, he's got, he's got that ring rust. I'm sure he's got some fatigue. He's burning because he hasn't been in there in the last like seven, eight years. So he's really got to be careful in this third. He's got to get work done because it's his fight to lose right now. Well, Hamlin's got to get work done too. He doesn't want to be overzealous and then get taken A down. Big shot there by Hamlin. Yep. 
Oh, big follow up there by Hamlin. Big shots, and Matt grinds it, possibly to the Matt Hamlin fighting it for all he's got. He sees he's got an opportunity to win the fight, but he's down on all of the cards, I'm sure. Wow, Hamlin. Oh, and a beautiful back pass by Matt McKenna. Hamlin probably thought I am seconds away from finishing this I'll fight. I'll tell you what, those were really nice shots by Hamlin. He's looking fresh as rain still in the third, and I'm sure he feels that, that uh, Matt McKenna has slowed down, but man, once again, those carpenter hands, once he grips around your hips and around your legs, it's hard to get away. The credit to McKenna for turning that bad situation around and getting this fight back to the you know, and, and this is one of those spots where, you know, if McKenna starts opening up, you know, he's he's fatigued somewhat. This is a chance for Hamlin to, to turn it around. He could break loose and, and still land some big shots. So, you know, if I'm in McKenna's corner, I'm be saying hold on to him for all you got. Don't get a stand up by any means. But, man, keep this kid on the ground because he's still very dangerous. And we saw Hamlin, who was doing a good job of, and preventing uh, McKenna from getting that hook with his right leg and then eventually spun on his back. Oh, here we go. This might be an arm triangle set up here by Matt McKenna. Hamlin fell prey to that in his previous outing. He's not going to fall for it again. He drops that arm to the ground. And nice shoulders again by Matt McKenna. He's still keeping that work rate up. I know he's exhausted. Like I said, the, the ring rust is, you know, it, it, until you've been in there and you feel it and you feel, you know, it's almost like first time jitters. And, uh, you know, it, it's not always the first round you feel it in. You feel it big time in the second and third. And here we go. Now, Matt, he's going to have to stay poised. Hamlin attacked a big triangle choke. Uh, you know, in the last round, he actually got it locked up for a, for a split second. So I have to watch here. Excuse me, Casey. Last few losses for Hamlin have both been by triangle choke submission. Also submitted via guillotine choke in the past as well and strikes. Had a unanimous decision loss also. And Hamlin is probably going to survive here. Again, looking for that triangle choke. Another a nice left shot by Hamlin from the bottom. I don't think it's going to be enough here. And that's the end of the fight. We will go to the judges' scorecards. Nice show of sportsmanship between the two. A lot of respect after every round. Those guys touched each other and, uh, and said, good job. Even from the start, I saw them looking before the fight started, talking about touching gloves. They touch gloves. Yeah, a ton of respect. It's old line and young line. You can see the difference in, in both of these guys. And, you know, big props, mad props to Matt coming out of a of a, a tremendously long layoff, man. Seven years, moving to almost eight years. Unbelievable. Take us through this replay here, Casey. Well, you know, Hamlin, you know, he was uh, he was very aggressive on the feet, man. He looked great with his hands. You know, Matt, uh, he took a few shots, but that chin rocked hard there. You know, I mean, he played football growing up. This guy knows how to take a hit. And really, that, that was the difference was when McKenna was able to get that third round. To the, to the mat. And you see that great crew there with McKenna. Yeah, mad love all the way around right there. You got prime time, you got Boxhorn, you got Big Gavin, and of course, yep. Diablo. Great corner there for McKenna. And it looks like McKenna is going to win this on strikes. I'm Vince Ferrara alongside Casey Oxendine here at Apex Fights 8. Looking forward to some big things from primetime here soon, right? Yeah, absolutely, man. Going back to the RFA, one of the biggest shows. He's going to headline that one, Los Angeles, California. Uh, that's going to be big, man. You're actually, Los Angeles is going to find out about primetime, you know, in Pacific time, you know, on the, on the Pacific edge over there. Well, that's dangerous, though. Primetime in L.A., <laughs> look out. Better yeah, watch out. But in terms of exciting and great prospects and uh, super entertainment, Adam Primetime Townsend will provide that. It's unfortunate we were hoping to see him in Valor fights, but great opportunity for Adam Primetime Townsend. We, we've still got, coming up tonight, four MMA titles on the line here tonight. This is an amateur MMA showcase at Sullivan North High School in Kingsport, Tennessee. Uh, a little bit more of a delay here as they went to the judges' scorecards. All right. Back to the cage for the announcement of our official decision. Here is Jennifer Oxendine. After
after three rounds, we go to your judges for the official decision. Your first judge scores this bout 30-27. Second judge scores this bout 30-27. And third judge scores this bout 29-28. All for the OEB Blue Corner for your winner.